Hello, hello. My name is Annie and today I'm doing my first check-in for the month of October. So I've got some exciting things to share regarding my Etsy store and I'll get to that at the end of the video. I hope everyone is well. Uh, we've had torrential rains in Sydney and in New South Wales so I hope that uh, if you're in the affected regions that your property and that your home, your family, uh, you're all safe. So as customary, my coffee. Okay, so this week my crazy work schedule continues and I haven't actually gotten around to doing a lot of spending, only the essentials pretty much. So this week's spend is pretty much just the necessities. Um, we're at the end of the week and just counting Saturday and Sunday from last week. I had one spend only subscription, $17.99. The other subscription came out my Apple iCloud storage, $149, totaling $19.48. Uh, the rest of it was a business spend, $9.95. These two were digital spends and the rest was on food. So let's have a look at the wallet. So I roll over all of my coins into my coin box to play my dice savings challenge. So I'll just grab my coin box here. Currently it's looking pretty healthy. And I'll be rolling the dice in my savings challenge video coming up to see how much of this I get to put away in my savings and the rest of it gets put into a spending savings account. Well, not really a savings account, is it? A, just a separate account where I put all my loose change and if I go out, I can spend it on whatever I like, guilt-free, you know, any small little knickknacks that I usually <laughs> think you kind of waste money on. Yeah. So, in coins this week, I'm rolling over. Two, three, fifty, seventy, ninety, four dollars and twenty cents. Four dollars, four dollars, twenty cents. I like to spend my groceries in cash. However, I do keep some of it online in a um, digital fund. Uh, so, so far, I've spent. $130.80 on food this week. I went, I had lunch, uh, bought takeaway and a Friday takeaway for dinner. Aldi, $29.95. Coles, $42.25. Aldi again, $19.70. Uh, local grocers, $3.50. So supermarket spends uh, and takeaway and lunch eating out they all come out of the same spending fund for me i spent 130 dollars and 80 cents on groceries and eating out um, and my digital spend was 50 dollars. i bought myself more coffee beans because i love me as you can see fresh coffee multiple times a day so let's see how much I have left and how much I'm going to unstuff. I'm just going to call that 135 and plus 50, so 185. Groceries. I started the month with $600 and eating out and I'm going to check out 50 digitally. And I've got 300 left, 300 50, 70, 90, 410, 15. 415 dollars left for the rest of the month. Okay, so 
subscriptions are uh, added up to 19.48 so i'm going to unstuff 20 dollars so 20 dollars is going to come out uh, and i've got to make change so i took out 50 put 30 back in i should do a little condensing 20 dollars So left in subscriptions, I have 50, 70, 90, 95. And the last category to unstuff is my business fund. $10 came out. So take out 100, put $90 back in. So I've got 150, 70, 90, $190 in my business fund. So Rolling that over, I roll over the extra cents. I've only got two categories to roll over into my bank rollover fund. So it's only 57 cents, taking my total to my bank rollover to $5.22. So I'm going to represent this with prop money and slip in $5. I already emptied out this account, uh, my digital rollover account, and I put it into my savings challenge binder to put in the buffer, and I will redistribute that in an upcoming video. So that's my spending. Let's calculate what it was for the week. So I spent $210.23 this week. Um, quite a low spend, quite a boring spend. I know these videos aren't particularly the most interesting things, but I still think that it's important to look at realistic spending. I know um, I personally can get caught up with, you know, stuffing my binders. It's all about growth and growth and growth. But at the end of the day, I am stuffing these and categorizing these because I do, do want to manage my spending and keep track of where the money goes. So that's it for the spending. Oops, sorry, just knocked you. In other news, I've added some new savings challenges to my Etsy store. Uh, I had a bit of time recently and I have been adding up all of my purchases. So uh, I, moved into my new apartment in March of this year and I've been going through and having a look at what I've been spending my money on. I've had to furnish this place pretty much from scratch uh, because I moved out of home where I lived with a sibling and I left him pretty much all of my furniture or all of our shared furniture. So I've been tracking how much things have cost me and I've created savings challenges in case anyone else actually is looking to move out or buy their own property. And, you know, it is quite expensive to do so. So things like a washing machine. I spent close to $800 on a new washing machine. Refrigerator. Dishwasher, well, my apartment does come with a dishwasher, uh, quite a high-end one, but if you need to put in a new dishwasher, you know, some of these can cost up to $2,000. Stand mixes, of course, my must-have, in my opinion, <laughs> the espresso machine. But fear not, if you don't like to make your coffee manually, I do have one for those who prefer a pod machine capsule machine. Microwave. The major thing that I learned moving out for the very first time in my early 20s was do not buy a cheap microwave from Kmart. The outside will be molten lava and the inside will still be frozen. So microwaves. Living room. The living room was a major, major expense. Couch, rug, artwork, TV stand, uh, coffee table, you know, all of that does add up. A lamp. Then I've got some basic things like cleaning supplies. Yeah, when you first get started, it is quite 
you know, a hefty expense because, uh, you know, if you're living in a share house, then usually you just divide, you know, your weekly or fortnightly or even monthly rent and by how many people are in the house. And, but when you move out all by yourself, it does add up. So microfiber towels, sprays, dishwashing liquid, and all the extras. And this one, the laundry supplies one, this one quite caught me off guard actually because of how much everything added up. You know, clothes pegs, lint rollers, stain removers, you know, um, scrub brush, laundry baskets. Gosh, these are like at least $10 even if you go to the $2 store. Laundry detergent, laundry hamper, iron, ironing board, you know, um, drying rack, you know, laundry rack and extra storage. They all add up. So those are some of the home expenses I've got. Then I've got some generic ones. Um, well, these ones are old, but I've added a little piggy bank saving, piggy bank savings challenge um, because I will be completing this one. I'll, ha I'll be having a go at this one um, just for generic, generic savings. So all of these are now available on my Etsy store, which I will leave a link for down below in the description box. So that's it from me today. I hope everyone is well and I hope to see you next time. Bye.